Good day, everyone, and welcome back to Daily Devotions. Our Daily Devotion for today, Thursday, June the 3rd, comes to us from the Gospel of Mark, the third chapter, verses 20 to 35. And the crowd came together again so that they could not even eat. When his family heard it, they went out to restrain him. For people were saying, he has gone out of his mind. And the scribes who came down from Jerusalem said, he has Beelzebul. And by the ruler of the demons, he casts out demons. And he called them to him and spoke to them in parables. How can Satan cast out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand, but his end has come. But no one can enter a strong man's house and plunder his property without first tying up the strong man. Then indeed the house can be plundered. Truly, I tell you, people will be forgiven for their sins and whatever blasphemies they utter. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit can never have forgiveness, but is guilty of an eternal sin. For they had said, he has an unclean spirit. Then his mother and his brothers came, and standing outside, they sent to him and called him. A crowd was sitting around him, and they said to him, your mother and your brothers and sisters are outside asking for you. And he replied, Who are my mother and my brothers? And looking at those who sat around him, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. With all the various competing wills taunting us to stray from God's will, Each of us might be the kingdom or house divided that cannot stand. But the Holy Spirit works in us through the word, bringing God's will to fruition. While we may not cast out demons, the good news through which the Spirit calls us gives us God's own authority to confront the taunting that would lead us into despair and sin. Denying the Holy Spirit's work is unforgivable because this denial rejects the possibility that God wants to save all people from the effects of that first and persistent mistake. The mistake of believing and trusting the taunts. Rather, than the word of God. Let us pray. Powerful hope, shore up the foundations of our faith so that we might show others your love that leads us out of despair. Amen. Grace and peace be with you this day and every day. And I hope to see you back here tomorrow. Bye now.